It's the story of a Fort Stockton man and his Varsity Bluebird bus. But it's more than that. It's about his legacy. Baldomero Kilo opened his bus doors to students for nearly 20 years. He always did for others before he did for himself. With a kind heart, a big smile, and an unforgettable whistle, Kilo was a fixture in the lives of family and students alike. You're always going to remember that smile, that enthusiasm, and it's just, it, 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 you just can't find the words. I mean, if you didn't even know him, if you talked to him for like just one second, you felt like you've known him all your life. He's just got that magnetic personality. Kilo was a big Panthers fan, went to almost every game. For Mia Duarte, it was Kilo who pushed her through. You know, we're looking, we're looking and everywhere, and he'd be right over here. And he would always stand up and just say, go girls, y'all got it today, today's y'all's day. Kilo passed away last Thursday at age 69 after battling cancer. His casket is covered with sports memorabilia and a gift from one young man he drove to the Special Olympics. Best friend took, went away, you know, and we wanted to give this honor to him because he meant a lot to us. His varsity bluebird bus, usually packed with athletes headed to the big game, is headed for the funeral home to say goodbye. But his legacy will live on with story after story of how Baldomero Kilo made his mark on a community. Panther High even honored Kilo with a moment of silence at Friday's game and a banner. It comforts us because we know that, you know, he, we loved him, but to know that other people also loved him really comforts us. In Fort Stockton, home of the Panthers, I'm Matt Riss for CBS 7 News.